time no vlog i actually was supposed to have a trip this past weekend it's monday now for reference and i was able to drop that trip and spend a whole weekend here at home so that was really nice but now that i've dropped that trip i do want to pick something up this week to make up for the lost hours and i was able to snag a honolulu for this week like I said, today is Monday and my trip starts on Wednesday, so I am going to be leaving tomorrow night, which is Tuesday. So since I'm getting ready to leave, I do want to meal prep a couple of things and I thought now would be a good time to show y'all what I'm making. I am actually making some chia seed pudding for this trip, which I haven't made chia seed pudding in a really long time, but I saw someone make it on TikTok and it inspired me. So I'm gonna show y'all how I like to make my chia seed pudding. Okay, so the first thing I did was I opened this can of coconut cream. It's just unsweetened, plain, organic coconut cream, and it adds a really nice light sweetness to your cheesy pudding. So I just did about, a serving is a fourth of a cup, and I would say that's about as much as I did. I can add more later if I don't think it's sweet enough. And then I'm going to do two cups of almond milk. This is just regular, plain, unsweetened almond milk. So two cups of this. I've got the coconut cream and the almond milk here in this bowl. I'm just making that this in the small mixing bowl that I have a cover for so I can make a couple of batches and keep it in my fridge to set overnight. And so once you add the coconut cream and the almond milk together, you can use any kind of milk you want though, try to mix them kind of right away because you want your coconut cream to mix in with the almond milk. And once the coldness of the milk touches the coconut cream, it will kind of thicken up. So you want to make sure you combine the two before it solidifies. I'm going to do a drizzle of agave. You can do honey, stevia, whatever kind of sweetener you want, but I like to use agave. And now I'm going to add six tablespoons of chia seeds. I went to come check on my chia seed pudding and it looks really good so far. It's already kind of like solidifying and the chia seeds are expanding, which is like the texture that you really want. If you can kind of see that. <laughs> kind of looks funny and I know a lot of people don't really care for chia seeds because they don't like the texture. They do get a little slimy whenever you put them in yogurt or milk like this to make a pudding, but I really don't mind it and I think it's really good. So let's try it. Very good. And I did add cinnamon to mine, so you can do cinnamon, nutmeg, you can do vanilla extract, like if you like yours a little bit sweeter. But I think the fourth cup of the coconut cream, a little bit of agave and cinnamon is just the perfect amount of sweetness. So this is a really good snack, a really easy breakfast. You don't have to heat it up. You can just keep it chilled in your fridge and it's really good. I was just cooking dinner and Josh came in with flowers he thinks I'm mad at him. But I'm not mad at him. <laughs> he said they're ugly, but it's okay. They're really not ugly though. Oh, they have a little. And two kombuchas. And two kombuchas. I only asked for one. So sweet. But none of them have the chickens. Well, the chicken's all right. But the sauce, I'm not totally sure about it yet. I don't know. I'm not very good at cooking, in case you didn't know. It is the next day and it is commute day so I'm kind of just getting all my things together before I get ready to go back to work later this afternoon but I just had coffee did some editing and now I'm going to have some breakfast before I go to the gym so I thought I would have my chia seed pudding see what it looks like and it won't focus but I have had a few bites and it's really good so I'm going to put some just in this cute little ramekin I hope I'm saying that right. And then I'm gonna put some banana on top. Gonna to go get a good workout in because I'm definitely not going to be working out the next three days whenever I'm in Honolulu. But yeah, just kind of doing my normal commute day routine. But I will check in with y'all later today. Okay, I definitely should have used a bigger container, but how cute is this? So cute, there's juicy pudding underneath there. But I'm gonna eat my breakfast.
Hi guys, it is the beginning of my three day trip today. I'm going to Honolulu, like I said earlier, so I'm very excited. I just got to the employee parking lot, but I'm a little bit early, so I thought I would do a little intro. And then I also think my bid award for September is ready, so I thought we would look at it together. So I'm gonna go into CCS and go to, my car just turned off, and go to bid award. I will type in my last name and my base. Let's see. Okay, I did hold a line next month, which is really exciting. I was kind of worried about it because we did lose lines again. And then it's also the end of summer. So a lot of people senior to me like will take summers off or like take leaves of absence to spend the summer with their kids. But, and then they come back in September. So I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to hold a line, but I did. And my line number is 324 so let's go look at my bid packet and see what that line looks like and there's hundreds of lines to like scroll through so I will probably be scrolling for a little bit until I find mine okay here's my line and it looks like I held off the two weekends that I needed off so I'm really excited about that we've got a wedding to go to and then my dad's birthday is in September as well so I wanted those two weekends off and I'm kind of surprised that I was able to hold a line that had two weekends off so that's really good and overall I'm really pleased with my line I can kind of see the trips from the line but it's always easier whenever uh, scheduling uploads them onto my calendar and I look at them that way rather than reading them from the bit packet because they are a little bit complicated to read on the bit packet so once they upload it onto my calendar we can go through my trips later tonight and I will tell you all if I have any good layovers or any good stuff like that So they get this bedding from Saks, and then also a cute little amenity kit. And I'm the number three flight attendant on this trip, so I do work for Saks, but my jump seat is at the front of economy, so I'll show you on my jump seat too. So this is my jump seat right here. I'm at door 2R, so this is my door. I'm in charge of it and all of its operation. I'm finally here in Honolulu and it was a good day but it was just a very very long day I worked a three-hour flight from Houston to LA and then a five hour and 13 minute flight from LA to Honolulu so I'm here for the next 16 hours and I don't know what it is but I just cannot get a long Hawaii layover layover I want one so bad but I never see them I never can trade into them I definitely can't hold them but I um yeah I'm just gonna make the most of my layover like I did last time so this trip's a little bit different because last time I came to Honolulu I got in like in the afternoon like two or three I think and I got here tonight at the hotel at 9 p.m. so it's very late too late to go to the beach or anything and then my pickup tomorrow is at 11 35 so kind of early but I think I can definitely get up and still go to the beach and do that so I'm always happy to be able to go to the beach and actually guys a really cool thing about this crew was so before I started my trip I was like looking at my crew and I look at everyone's pictures and their names and I recognized a name and I was like oh my gosh I think that's the flight attendant who interviewed me and essentially is the reason why I'm even a flight attendant for my company today so she was she's a flight attendant but back whenever I was hired in 2018 the people who interviewed and pretty much hired all of our flight attendants were all flight attendants which I think is really cool because I really feel like there's no one better to hire for this job than someone who 
has done the position and like knows what it's really like and like what it all entails so anyways I had a great interview with her and I thought she was just so nice so helpful and she must have liked my interview too because I made it to training and I passed training and so I just felt really inspired by her in my interview I thought she was a great example of a flight attendant and I got to work with her today so that was really cool um, when we introduced ourselves to each other we didn't really say anything like about it at first and I was like did you used to like do like stopping and interviews in 2018 and she's like oh my gosh I did like I thought I recognized you I'm like yeah you pretty much hired me so that was really cool to work with her and really the entire crew was just so amazing so I'm going to get ready for bed and get ready to hopefully get up at a decent time and get some time on the beach. Morning you guys, it is the next morning. It is 6.09, but let's see what time it really is at home. Okay, it's 11.09 at home, but 6.09 here in Hawaii. Oops. Um, I did sleep well. So that was good. But then I started having nightmares about being late for work. And so then I had to wake up because I just was not sleeping well anymore. I've got some chia seed pudding here for breakfast. And I'm going to eat that and try to finish up editing my vacation vlog. It's almost done. Um, I'm just so nitpicky when I edit. It takes me forever to edit and upload. I watch it like a million times before. I press the upload button but I'm almost done so I'm gonna work on that and then once I'm done eating breakfast I'm going to put on my beach clothes and I'm going to go to the beach but I also wanted to talk about the plane that I worked yesterday so it was the where's my work phone hold on okay so the plane that we worked yesterday was the triple seven 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 M and I think it just recently like started flying again. I think they took them out of like commission for a while because I feel like it was something with the engines. I think they like, was there like a recall or something? I can't remember. But yeah, so they just recently brought them back and you'll see in the clips that I posted of the interior of the plane. Um, in the first class cabin, it's really strange because you have some seats facing forward and some facing backwards. So let me know if you would, that would bother you facing backwards on a plane like that. I think it would, it would feel weird. But so whenever I did the safety demo on that plane, my position, I had to pivot whenever I would do the demo. So I was at the very front of economy in the very back of first class. And so when I would do it for economy, I'd have to turn back around and do the exact same th uh, thing for those passengers in first class who are facing backwards. Cause if I didn't, they wouldn't be able to see the full safety demo. And that's like a really important part of the demo is making sure that everyone sees it. I'm all ready to go to the beach, but first I want to get some coffee. And then I also wanted to show y'all something I thought was just funny in my hotel room. So in this closet, when you open the door, you got like your iron, your ironing board, and all that stuff. But then there's a flashlight and it is exactly like the ones that we have on the plane. Like you take it out of its holder and then the light is on. And then when you replace it back in the holder, if I can get it the light goes off. Now the ones on the plane, they're for emergencies only, so they do have a seal on them, and if that seal's broken, it needs to be replaced, but I've never had a hotel room with a flashlight like this. It's very handy though. Makes a lot of sense.
beach i went to a place called island vintage cafe or coffee hold on island vintage coffee this morning and the line was crazy and i didn't know if it was just because it was like a convenient location or it was just really popular but i found their yelp and i was like looking at all the pictures and i think it's like always like that and it's just like very beautiful like extravagant looking um acai bowls and breakfast so i think it's just a really popular place here in honolulu especially for tourists so i waited in line for a very long time and then i waited for my food for a really long time but by the time i sat down and ate everything and drank my coffee it was so delicious i'll tell you i got like the moana acai bowl i think that's the one i got it had like the coconut cream on top and it was so delicious but i had a great time at the beach i went to the same area of the beach that i went to last time just because it's what i know and i got there super early so it wasn't too crowded which was nice okay and now i want to show you all some things i got at the abc store if you haven't been here before it's kind of just like a convenience store i think it's kind of got like everything you could need for the beach. They've got coffee, um, snacks, hot food, sunscreen, all that good stuff. And last time I was here, my friend introduced me to something that I loved. And I don't want to say it wrong. So I'm gonna try it as best as I can. It's musubi, spam, and egg. And then I do not know this last word. I'll just let y'all read it. There we go. So it's like spam up here, a thin layer of egg, um, rice. And these are so delicious. My friend who I worked my last Honolulu trip, he actually introduced me to them and he shared his with me and it was so good. So I'm really excited to have some. And I got these hot, so they're like ready to eat right now. So I think I will eat one right now. And then I've got to get ready for work because it's 10, 11 now and I need to be downstairs for a band pickup at 11.35. Oh, and I also got some sushi that I will probably eat for dinner later. It's just an inside out California roll, which I'm not very adventurous with sushi. I always just get a California roll. Okay guys, I am all packed up and ready to head to the airport. Our van pickup is in about 15 minutes, so I'll head downstairs soon. But I'm so sad to be leaving Honolulu and I can't wait to come back again. Hopefully for longer than 16 hours. Why is it focusing on that painting? <laughs> there we go. But hopefully one day I will get to stay for longer than just a short layover. But tonight I am working the Honolulu to San Francisco and then the San Francisco to Houston red eye. So it's going to be another long day, but it was totally worth it to... Have an amazing morning here in Hawaii. Okay guys, so we just got to San Francisco from Honolulu. Focus. Okay, and so this wasn't originally our plane. We are supposed to be on a different configuration, but I think there were some storms in Houston today, so I don't think our original plane got here. So we are actually keeping this same plane and taking it to Houston. So that's good because I don't have to move any of my stuff or walk to another gate, walk to another plane. So pretty happy about that. Our check-in isn't for a while, so I do have a few minutes to rest. So that's always nice, but just waiting on catering and cleaning. So I think I'll probably just hang out on the plane. So whenever you are working as a flight attendant, your position has like an assignment for everything, where you sit, what your responsibilities are, and even where your bags go. So my assignment place for my bags on this trip is this little closet right here. So even my bags have an assigned seat. <laughs> and it's actually more preferred for us to have a closet instead of having to lift our heavy bags up into the overhead bin. So I'm always happy when my position has my bags in a closet. And I guess now would be a good time to show y'all a little tour of this plane since I'm the only one on board right now and I'm on my sit time. And I don't have any footage really of the 777 on my channel yet. So this right here is our first class galley. These are all called carts. You'll find meal trays in them, ice, beverages, that kind of stuff. 
and then we call these carriers and you'll usually find like coffee cups tea sugar sweetener milk that kind of stuff and then these are our ovens where we heat up all the meals we've got our coffee makers over here and tons of little cubbies like in this one we've got gloves and trash bags this galley is really big so we've got tons of extra jump seats on this plane usually only two of the jump seats are filled by flight attendants so there's three extra ones right here and then right over here is the middle galley we usually just keep extra supplies uh, for economy in here so all sodas and juices extra buy on board snacks and then all these carriers just have extra supplies too this plane is huge as you can see it carries almost 400 passengers sorry my camera keeps not focusing on me i don't know why there's my door again my door my responsibility um, it's really important that as a flight attendant you are always aware of your door don't let anyone else touch your door you don't touch anyone else's door Whenever you mix responsibilities like that, that's whenever big accidents can happen and a slide popping or a door being open when it should be is just a big no-no. You don't want it to happen. But yeah, I'm just going to hang out for a little bit until I check in. I don't check in until 10.59 and it's 10.13 now. Probably be about a two hour and 55 minute flight to Houston from San Francisco. I'll let y'all know about the flight time and the changes, but for now, I'm just gonna hang out and try to rest a little bit before this red eye. Okay guys, good morning. It is 7 a.m. and I'm back in base. I don't have to go back to work until tomorrow night, but I'm not gonna go home just because that's really quick turnaround. It's just easier for me to stay at my crash pad, but it was really good flight from San Francisco to Houston. A lot of sleepy people, so service was really easy. And we had the nicest passenger ever. He made us all goodie bags. And let me show you what was in them. Okay, so first, he got us a face mask and a foot mask. And then also, we got us like some chocolate covered like shortbread cookies, but those are in my lunchbox in the back. And then I think, oh shoot, is it all in the back? And then also a hand cream and something else. I can't remember. Oh, it was like a little um, hand sanitizer and hand lotion duo. So that's probably like one of the nicest things a passenger has ever gotten for me. And he got it for our whole entire crew. And mind you, there was eight of us on a triple seven. So that was very thoughtful of him to even look up how many flight attendants were working. And he got us something like that. It was so nice. Um, so yeah, it's really those like small things that people do every once in a while, just like being appreciated that makes this job feel really rewarding. So that was very nice. But as you can probably tell, I'm so tired. I've been asleep or I haven't been asleep. I've been awake for so long. So I'm going to head to my crash pad and get some much needed rest. And I'm probably going to end this vlog here and maybe start a new one. So I'll go ahead and say bye you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like them, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.